What's up guys, Justin here with the CGEssentials.com. So the Blender Market Spring Sale is now live. I thought we could take a look at a few of the add-ons that are on sale as a part of the Blender Market Sale. Let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so the Blender Market is having their spring sale right now, and they've got thousands of different models and uh, assets and other things like that that are currently on sale. And um, basically what the sale is, is um, all of these add-ons that are marked as on sale are generally 25% off as a part of the sale. So this is most of the add-ons that are contained inside of Blender, not all of them, right? So like, um, so like AI Render, for example, or Stable Diffusion, this particular add-on is not on sale. So there are a few that aren't, but most of them currently are, especially the big ones. So for example, Simply Material, which by the way, I'm planning on trying to get a video out on today. Um, Simply Material is a brand new add-on from the guys that brought us Simply Cloth um, that's specifically designed for helping us create cloth material using patterns. It's a pretty cool one because it allows us to actually use texture images as well as kind of like background patterns and things like that in order to custom generate our own cloth and fabric textures. So it's specifically designed for generating the textures for that cloth. It's got the ability to do like little fuzzy things and other things like that. But this one is brand new and it's currently on sale. So real wood textures. This is the one from B production that has um, a number of very detailed and really good looking wood textures. And so this gives us the ability to get this brand new add on for 25% off. So if you're looking for some good wood textures, this could be a good fit. So physical starlight and atmosphere we've talked about in the past. This is the um, basically, this is the environment creation add-on for Blender. So um, I'll try to link to all my videos on these in the notes down below in case you do buy these and um, you want to learn how to use them. But this one gives you the ability to add um, skies and atmospheres and other things like that. The cool thing about this one is it works in both EV and the cycles, um, giving you the ability to quickly preview like where your sun's going to be and how it's going to affect your lighting, other things like that. Um, this also has presets built in that allows you to do like, uh, like alien planets or um, you can also create something like Earth. So there's a lot of different options in here. And this just really makes creating atmospheres and backgrounds really easy. So Botanics Upgraded Tree and Vegetation Library, which has the animation built in, is currently on sale for 25% off as well. They just released the version where they animated everything that's built into this, giving you the ability to create that those animations for the trees and for the grass and other things like that. So in addition to having a large library of different objects, we've also got those animations built in to this new tool. So if you are looking for something that gives you a pretty big asset library, of trees and plants and other things like that. Um, we've got Botanic currently on sale as well. So all of Mark Kingsnorth's add-ons are currently on sale. So we've talked about a number of these, including Perspective Plotter and Conform Object. And so Perspective Plotter allows you to set up those perspective lines directly inside a blender and model over top of an image, using your image as a reference for what you're trying to model. In addition, he's got Conform Object, which is a tool that allows you to wrap objects, or it's almost like shrink wrapping objects on top of other objects. Um, so you can use this to bend other objects along objects inside of Blender. So Fluent Materializer is a tool that I've uh, talked about a bunch in the past, but it basically gives you the ability to add procedural wear um, and other things like that on top of objects in Blender. So you can use it to add like a base color and then you can add wear around the edges. Um, you can add different like damage types and stains and other things to materials. So it's a great add on for making those materials look a little bit more realistic or a little bit more worn. Um, you've also got the ability to add things like decals and then uh, it gives you a lot of different things you can do to customize those decals as well. Um, so um, this is a really great procedural damage add-on. Um, one thing I did note at the end of last week, and I haven't really had a chance to test this out yet, but um, CG Thoughts has just rolled out a brand new add-on, which looks really interesting. Um, basically what it is, is it's, it's a tool that kind of simplifies the geometry node process. So instead of you having to go in and mess with nodes, it allows you to use their kind of like simplified menu in order to do like geometry node functions to different objects. So it does include 
13 parametric assets that you can work with. You can also create your own library in here. Like I said, I haven't had a chance to test this one out. This is like brand new, brand new. It's an interesting way of working with geometry nodes without having to dive deep into the node settings. So this is something I do want to test more in the future, but I did think it was interesting the way that this tool works or the way this tool looks. So give it a look. Let me know what you think about this one. I'd love to hear what you think in the comments below. And so another add-on that I've covered lately that I think is really interesting is Materialic. And uh, basically what Materialic is, it's a uh, blender material add-on. So this has a number of different kinds of materials in here. So uh, they said they've got 370 plus right now. They're currently integrated into the Blender Asset Browser, but um, they've got sliders that allow you to adjust like your uh, diffuse values and your roughness, um, your normals, other things like that, as well as having like displacement built in as well. So um, if you're looking for a good material library that is more like PBR based, um, this is a great one for that um, because it does have a pretty good size library and they are continuing to add to this as well but it's got some other things built in like the texture bombing so that you don't get the tiling that kind of thing um, that makes this a pretty good pbr material library and tool for blender so if you are looking for something a little bit more procedural sanctus library is also on sale and um, i apologize i talked about these a lot in a video on friday um, so there might be a little bit more information in there about those but this is a procedural materials library so where materialic is based on more like pbr materials um, this one creates the materials procedurally so what that does is that gives you the ability to adjust and change more things, but the materials are also going to be heavier. So um, it's kind of a trade-off in there. Um, there is gonna be more work going on in the background with these, but you are gonna get more control. So if you're looking for something procedural, Sanctus Library could be a good fit. If you're looking for something that's more PBR, um, then uh, Material It could be a good fit. So if you're looking for some tools to help you set up some kind of animations in Blender, um, Light Architects tools are also on sale. And um, specifically, I'm focusing on their hoard add-on, um, which is basically a tool designed to help you set up crowds inside a blender. So it's designed to help you set up different kinds of crowds in Blender. And so it comes built in with some different options. So you've got like human professionals walking or human casual, as well as the zombies. Um, the zombies are a lot of fun because you can set this up and the zombies are actually going to run along a path. So you can set this up where it quickly creates groups of zombies. Um, and it also gives you the ability to create those uh, crowds of human people as well. So they've also got their SpiderFi add-on, which is basically a tool designed to help you set up Boyd systems. Boyd systems are like groups of objects that act in a certain way. Um, so you can use this to set up like flying birds, or um, if you've got like a uh, walking or crawling insects or something like that, this uh, comes with these detailed assets and it makes animating those so that they move like towards objects or other things like that really easy as well. Um, I had a lot of fun working working with this one. So if you do want to set up groups of bugs or birds, this could be a great tool for that. All right, so I'll link to some of these add-ons as well as the Blender Market Spring Sale in the notes down below and on this page. But leave a comment below. Let me know if there's anything you'd like to see tutorials on or you'd like to see me cover. I just love having that conversation with you guys. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.